What is up guys, it's The Real Deal, welcome back to the channel. Guys, we are week eight into Eternal Evolution and we are smashing it right now. Um, you know, so week eight now, just to sort of recap over the weeks before, um, week one to week four was absolutely steamrolling. Week five, things sort of slowed down a little bit, picked back up, at six, uh, picked back up again at like week six and seven, but week eight has been absolutely crazy for progression. Um, so last week we were at 220 on our heroes. We've jumped to 239 on all fan, then like sort of 237 across the board. That is a massive jump. And we are so close to being able to, you know, hit that 240 cap, get our hyper evolution on. Cannot wait. Hyper evolution is going to be a real game changer for the account. Um, but yeah, so if we just do some quick maths, so it's, we'll just say this is one mil. So one mil, four mil, seven mil, 10 mil, 14 mil. So 14 mil, and I think we get about three mil a day. Obviously there's like places to get a few extra, but probably in the sort of the next sort of three to five days, we should be hitting 240 across the board and getting that hyper evolution. So yeah, honestly, I cannot wait for that. And then if we, I just want to talk, um, I will talk about, how I got a huge jump in EXP potions and also where about where I'm spending my diamonds right now as well. But first of all, I want to look at these two heroes, Randall and Rakana. So Randall, he looks like he should be an absolute boss. Uh, just love that animation. Do you know, it's so good. We'll just give it a second, a second watch. But yeah, just love Randall. Like he looks cool. Great animation. But honestly, I just feel like he sucks balls. Um, you know, he was had insane gear on him and his um, exclusive was plus 18 and he was fully, you know, full talents, stripped him of his gear, stripped him of his talents and put, put those onto Rakana. Everywhere that I was sort of struggling or stuck, Rakana has come out shining where Randall has failed. So Rakana, absolute beast. I mean, looks terrible. So generic looking. I mean, honestly, needs a skin rework. Um, just looks like if you've ever played like any sort of MMO, like maybe like in WoW, this would be like level 10 minion that just, you know, just you wouldn't even notice them. Um, but yeah, just awful, awful skin. Definitely needs a rework. So equipment. Yeah, obviously all that gear that I stripped from. And look, look at this gear. This is insane gear that I've taken off Randall, put onto Rakana. And literally everywhere that I, I was struggling and Randall was failing me, Rakana has come out on top. Absolute beast. I mean, only plus four on the exclusive. And yeah, these are all the talents that are stripped from Randall and threw on Rakana. And that's what I love about this game. You can, you know, you're not tied in. So if someone is a bit of a, a crappy hero like Randall, and you know, guys, let me know in the comments below because maybe I'm wrong about Randall, but honestly, I feel like he's just weak source. He's been terrible for progression on my account. And honestly, like Rakana... I just feels like a way, way better option. But um, yeah, that's what I love about this game. If you're sort of stuck um, in a hero, you know, you're not tied in. You can just take things away and just put them elsewhere. And there's no, you don't get punished for it either, which is great. So EXP potions, the first place is the um, elite campaign. You want to be doing this every day. You want to push as much as you can. I do spend diamonds on here. I'm a little bit low at the moment, so I won't be buying elite tickets today. But they are, you know, you want to try and push as much as you can. You don't want to be sweeping. So, whoops, wrong misclick. Um, you don't want to be sweeping. We would not be sweeping. We need to be pushing. So you want to try and push as much as you can every day. The more you push, the more EXP and the more rubies we can get. And it's huge. It really, really makes a difference. That massively jumps up. So, and first clears as well, you know, you get a whole bunch of EXP as well. But the main place, so um, one of the things where we jumped up with so much was from the Crimson Abyss being Eurolepi. So I was like at level seven and I decided to push. We went from level seven to level 11 and it was crazy the amount of um, EXP potions you get. So if I click on level 12, obviously it's a little bit lower here, but it's 12 mil. EXP potions we're getting and 
I, I, I don't know. I had like zero EXP, pushed this, and we jumped to like 31 mil. That is 31 levels. That's why I managed to get such a huge jump in like my progression for heroes. Just crazy. Absolutely crazy. Um, but yeah, I'll just show you. Yeah, I'm just literally jumped from 7 to 11. That is a big jump. This is the team comp I'm running. So we've got Jax. Jax is massive. Whenever you, like, if you see him up, just try and grab one copy of him. I mean, if you can grab more, great. Get those um, gene hybrids and pump them into your Jax. He will get work done for you. Uh, Ulthan as well. There was an event for him. He's great as well. Miranda, insane healer, farmable. And then Serena, um, non triple S hero that, you know, everyone can get heavily lean on her. And then Ampu, also obtainable from events as well. Um, but yeah, absolutely destroying your Aleppi right now, like 2.4 mil. Oh, okay. It's not versus, yeah, it is versus 15 mil. Crazy. So, um, Commander, we've got Discar, great for summoners. Then we've got Prying Eyes, nothing, going to do nothing here. Uh, then we've got the Equalizer, which is going to reduce damage that our summoners receive. And we're using Flashpoint for the healers. Just realize we're running a double healer comp as well. It's very, very rare that I do that. So that's how we beat Eurolepi. If we come to the Lost Valley, Sincero's Marsh, we have made zero progression. We're still at EX1. If I come into EX2, I need to do some homework here, but we just get absolutely obliterated. Like, watch this. That half the team just apps is just going to die. There we go. And obviously, that's going to be a fail wipe. So, yep, yeah, we'll leave that alone. And the game's crashed. I swear to God, this happens every single video. All right, guys, I'll be back in a sec. Guys, is this happening to anyone else? Like, comment below. But literally, I, I use LD Player, and this must crash every single video that I make. Uh, I will feed it back to the devs, though. Um, so, EX1. So, Disa Caves, we finally pushed into EX1. I love this team comp. Literally, we can beat this boss in under 30 seconds. Uh, I do have a video on this, so please go check it out. Um, and yeah, again, Jax, Anpu, um, MR, um, oh, I can't even remember her name, Art Artemis, and then Botmark. And for the commander, we've got uh, Karamata, Praying Eyes, does insane damage, Company Heroes doesn't really matter, and Scholar Monument doesn't matter because we're just running, um, you know, three hunters and then two summoners. So it's just pure damage and just obliterating the boss. The Terror Dome. This has been probably the hardest one to push through, but finally beat, um, well, finally made it to EX1. And I do want to push into EX3. But yeah, EX1 uh, running three. Oh, that wasn't the original team comp. Original team comp was three assassins. I was just trying something out to push through. So um, a little bit whaley here with Koraxa, uh, Samuel, Rakana, Orthan, and Serena. Um, Rakana, so. Randa was in this slot and he would just die. He couldn't, you know, he just wasn't up to scratch. And Rakana, absolutely smashing it. So, yeah, and Samuel as well. What an insane assassin. Absolutely love Samuel. Um, great, great, great hero. Got Hagradon as our commander. He just gives us survivability. Praying Eyes for insane damage. Company of Heroes and then Flashpoint as well. So I do use a lot of the same protocols. So uh, protocols, prototypes. Um, so I just don't want to sort of repeat myself and say the same thing over again. So one of the best things about getting to EX1 is we get three new prototypes. We get a Thorn Shield, um, gives survivability to Vanguard heroes. Great for like arena or if you're running like a, a Vanguard hero or certain events where, you know, you need to use Vanguards as well. Um, equalizer, um, Really can't wait to sort of max this one out. Just going to make our summoners so much stronger and tankier. Again, great for arena and PvE content. And another misclick. And then Overlord uh, Sash. This is actually really, really strong. I have built an Assassin's Team comp that I used to uh, push through an elite campaign. And yeah, it all comes down to being able to use this. So that is great. And if we push into EX3, we can start, we can get a universal crystal, but we can start to farm universal crystal shards. And these can be used to upgrade our mythical prototypes because mythical prototypes are a lot harder to get. 
And obviously, the more you upgrade them, the better benefits you'll get. So only use your universe, uh, universal crystals for mythical prototypes. I used it on epics. Big mistake. What a waste. Do not burn them on epic. Only use them on mythic. And if we just look at where else we're progressing. So roulette of truth, we've jumped to level five. Crimson Riot, we're on level six. Can't look at that today. But when you look at level seven, oh my God, guys, you need two teams, two teams for that. Um, yeah, it's going to be really, really hard to do that. Um, but I'm mainly just farming Roulette of Truth, Crimson Riot, and Mirage Base, and not touching the rest. Just feel like there's better gear sets there that I need for my account right now. So that's sort of where we're focusing there. Soul Mine, you know, just it is what it is, just progress every day. Have sort of hit a bit of a wall at 370 on the soul mine. So that's quite difficult right now. Arena, we are smashing it. So regular arena, we're rank nine. Uh, Galactic arena, we are challenge, oh, sorry, say challenger, sorry. From our days of League of Legend, master 25, nice. Pushing up nicely. Legendary fire, we've got a very, very, oh, look at that, we're rank six. I did mess up on my defense for the first day. Um, I just had like a one man team standing here. Um, so yeah, that's not, it looks like we're probably not going to be able to push through. Um, but yeah, there's some tough teams in here. I think anyone that, I think, uh, Thanos is sort of sitting at, I think 10 mil. And there's a few, there was a few 10 mils here that I've taken on. Decided to go through for the hard fights first and then go for the easy ones later. Um, but yeah. But anyone that's like 8 mil and below, I should beat. But yeah, it's going to be tough. It's a tough, tough, tough one. Summit, Summit Arena, I kind of don't like it because it just it just does it automatically. Um, you can, well, for the, for the qualifier, it's automatic. But yeah, I'm looking forward to trying to get some good gear because the stuff in the shop here is just redonkulous. Some redonkulous stuff up for grabs. So if we just talk about where we're spending our diamonds as well. So almost guys completely forgot about that. So first priority for me is trying to get as much as I can out of Eurolepi. So yeah, first, that's my first priority. Then the Lost Valley. Um, so for me, it goes Deesa Caves, then Sinsara's Marsh and Terradome. So once you've got a whole bunch of gear and you're farming the triangle, I sort of have dropped the Deesa Caves. Um, Sinsara's Marsh... Um, you know, you can get commanders here. You want to rush this and try and get your first commander to level 50. That will give you a big jump in your account. And then I'm just farming Terra Dome all day long right now. Um, but when I get a little bit more um, of those new prototypes, probably after like a week of farming, I will hop back on Sincero's Marsh. And then if I've got diamonds left over, I'm buying for the elite campaign as well. I was looking at the shop early. No, not the shop. Well, it was the shop, not the store. If we come back to the shop. I was looking at sort of spending in here, and it was the Hell Arena shop. So I am sort of desperate to get Helentus, but I am so tempted to buy these EXP potions. I can buy all five, and it's 60k. Because that would just really help speed up getting that hyper evolution and it's i know it's like if i just wait a few days i'll get it and i can get helentus but then again it's going to take a while to level her up as well um do you know what this might be a big big mistake but i'm going for it um let's see how much exp we got the moment uh at the moment so we'll say 500k 500k is going to become Oh, okay. That was not the big jump I was expecting. Oh, okay. That was a waste. Definitely a waste. Not even, not even two levels. Um, but I guess we're a little bit closer now. Okay. Do not do that. Definitely save for Helentus. I think that's one of the hard things about these games is trying to save up. It is very, very difficult to do. Come back. Just make sure. I think that's pretty much everything. Um, exotic Expedition. We're ranked 10 right now. That's pretty solid. Um, Going to get some decent rewards here. And I'm only 
buying awakenings for Ampu right now. I'm heavily invested in that guy. Um, yeah, he's a real hard carry. And yeah, Commander's Post, not much going on because I'm not farming it as much as I was. Divine Prototypes is sort of spoken about. Um, but also, you know, we want to not, sorry, wrong place. Um, where you get sort of, when you level these up as well, you can get extra bonus stats for your prototype as well. So that's really, really important. Collection as well. So we've got, a, we've got, we've been getting keys and I'm a little bit lazy when it comes to this. What you should be doing is these PVP ones, take them out, put in ones that are going to benefit you for PVE. And then when you're doing arena, swap them back, but I just can't be bothered. It's a little bit too much effort for me. But yeah, I think that's pretty much everything, guys. But yeah, massive, massive progression this week, seriously. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you all in a video soon. Peace.